What's going on guys, my name is Hypnostic and welcome to a brand new MWZ video. For those of you who don't know, I make daily zombies videos and if you enjoy watching zombies videos then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. So El Rey Slay 25 and Badshah 42 suggested an assault rifle for Modern Warfare 2, the M4. Badshah 42 even said it's the only gun he uses and to be honest, towards the end of DMZ, that was actually my go-to AR. Before we get into the build I'm using for the M4, I just quickly want to take a moment to thank Mitch Cal for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in unlocking the Interstellar and Borealis Mastery camos, or you just want to play in easier lobbies to quickly level up your weapons and unlock camos, or if you're a zombies player just interested in unlocking all the schematics, then go ahead and check out MitchCactus.com. They have over 10,000 reviews on their Trustpilot page and are the safest and most professional Call of Duty service out there. Be sure to use my code HYPNO for 5% off. So, El Rey Slay 25 actually included a build in the suggestion, which I'll be using today. We're using the Demo D50 buffer tube stock for a huge boost to overall mobility, the SL Razor Hawk laser for the fastest possible ADS speed and sprint to fire boost, the high tower 20 inch barrel for its slight boost to damage output, the 60 round mag. Now L Ray Slade 25 said he uses the L4R flash hider which helps out a bit with recoil control and muzzle flash concealment. Personally I would remove this and replace it with a rare grip that helps out with ADS speed and sprint to fire speed since recoil doesn't really matter once you have deadshot daiquiri but we still went with the l4r flash hider muzzle thank you again to bonshaw 42 and l ray slade 25 for the suggestion and build if you guys have any other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out then be sure to drop a comment below now that we covered the build i'm using for the m4 it's time to make our way into the tier 3 zone and the dark ether to see how it performs so i'll see you all there all right boys we made it to the tier 3 zone as you can see got the m4 2 pack 3 also picked up a bounty contract so we have that mega abomination to take out let's just quickly get a few zombies together here so we can test out this m4 and yeah i mean just look at that <laughs> All right, let's use a Scorcher and make our way over to the Mega Abomination. See how quickly we can take that guy out. All right, Mega Abomination is right down there. Let's actually come over to this side. Hopefully we can trigger laser attacks from up here. There we go, that works. Nice, can we hit criticals? Kinda, kinda. Couldn't take full advantage of that, which is unfortunate. Maybe if we get up here, see if that works. Ah, uh, yeah, zombies are gonna throw meat at us though. So and we are not triggering laser attacks. All right, we'll have to jump down for a second. So let's just quickly do that, take out some of these normal zombies. Okay, yeah, this thing is feeling spicy. Let's go. All right, let's bring them all back here. Nice, maybe try to get up here. Will that trigger? No, okay, have to get some more distance. All right, we have Mimic on us now too. There we go, let's try to hit a few criticals. Okay. Yeah, we are doing some serious damage right there. Let's go. Nice. Mega Abomination is about halfway dead already. By the way, boys, if things look a bit different right now, um, I'm currently recording from the PC instead of my console just to test out this new PC I built yesterday. And it is um, running a 4090, which, you know, I'm not a PC expert, but apparently that is pretty high end. <laughs> and yeah, things are running smoothly so far. Right, let's focus on that final face. Let's maybe bring them back. Okay, there we go. Laser attacks coming in. That's what we wanted. I mean, yeah, just look at that, man. Once he started doing critical damage, his health bar just drops. This thing's insane. There we go. Got a few armor plates on the ground there. Golden plates are on cooldown at the moment. Let's pick some of these up as well. Oh, nice little group of zombies right there. Let's test that out. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Oh, this thing gets a solid 10 out of 10. No complaints so far. Good amount of ammo as well. Super mobile with it too. All right, there we go. Let's focus on that final face. Oh, he's so close to dying, man. And there we go. Contract complete. Let's go. All right, let's see what we got off that. An extra self revive. Nice. We did get a sigil, which I'll take. I'll drop that three plate. Um take stamina up too yeah let's quickly go perk up all right there we go we're fully perked up 
See how this thing's performing? Oh my god, bro. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun with the M4. I swear. Alright, let's see if there's another bounty contract. And there is. Let's go. Tier 3 zone isn't contested at all. Everyone's in the tier 2 and 1 zone. So we Gucci. Let's go. Nice. Got the contract. Let's see what target it gives us. And it's a mega. Let's go. Nice. Where's he going to be at? Way back there. Alright. Let's make our way over there real quick. Alright. Nice. Mega just spawned in. Let's drop down here. Try to get his attention real quick. There we go, laser attack's coming in already, which is perfect. Nice, already destroyed one of his faces, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, <laughs> that's insane, man. All right, let's quickly play it up. And uh, there we go, another laser attack. Let's focus on that middle face. Go prone, just so I see if there's any zombies in front of us, because that laser attack really blinds you, man. <laughs> there we go, another one. Nice, destroyed two of his faces now. Perfect. Let's get on top of this car real quick. Nice. Come on, Mega. One more laser attack, homie. That's all we need. Let's actually climb up here. There we go. Beautiful. Oh my god, man. Just look at that. It's got less than a quarter of his health bar left. Let's just keep focusing on that face. There we go. A few more shots. Come on. And there we go. Contract complete. Yeah, I'm loving this thing, man. Deadwire, um, we already have that on our gun. Juggernaut, let's go. Definitely the best kill streak right there. Don't think we'll use it, but you never know. You never know. All right, and there's another bounty contract right back there. Might as well take advantage of the tier three zone since it's empty. Beautiful, got the contract. Let's see what target we get this time. Hopefully it's another mega and it's a disciple. Okay, not bad, not bad. It's my least favorite target right there, but, you know, should be alright with this M4. Alright, Disciple's right up ahead. Let's try to get his attention. Nice. Already broke his armor. Let's keep hitting those shots from back here. Okay, I'll have to back up a little bit. Way too many zombies right there. Nice. Oh, let's drop down. Beautiful. Alright, where you at, Disciple? Way up there still. Alright, won't be able to climb that. Alright, there we go. Disciple came down to us. Perfect. Let's take out this Mimic real quick while we're at it. There we go. Killed the Mimic. Nice. Alright, we'll have to take that guy out too. And there we go. Ooh, a lot of Retchlings right there, man. Probably a Mega nearby. Alright, let's focus on that face. There we go. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh, this thing is completely broken. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go disciple is dead <laughs> oh man this is making the tier three way too easy i swear <laughs> what is this all right another sigil i think i'll leave that in there i don't want to drop anything so uh yeah but hopefully we get an elder sigil during our dark ether run definitely need one of those um there's another bounty contract back there so let's quickly grab that Nice, got the contract. Let's see. Dude, I swear, playing on PC is so much smoother than console, man. How did I do it for all these years? <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. All right, let's go take out that Mega. Ooh, I wonder. Can we actually land on to... Nah, it's probably not going to work, is it? Let's see if that works. Okay, I mean, we up here. There we go. Laser attack's coming in. It definitely works. Who would have thought? <laughs> Let's go. Don't see any zombies nearby either, so we don't have to worry about them throwing meat at us, so we should be alright. There we go, two faces destroyed. One more to go. Come on, Mega. There we go. Nice. I mean, just look at his health bar. <laughs> this thing's insane, dude. Oh, man. I was using it at pack 2 just before recording as well. And even at pack 2, you're going to be doing some work here in the tier 3. There we go. He dropped a large bag for us. Would have liked to have that, but yeah, once again, I don't want to drop anything. Let's see what's in here. Nice, pretty decent loot right there. Not bad at all. Let's see if there's another... No. No bounty contract anywhere. All right. Yeah, there's no bounty contract anywhere. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. There we go. There we go. <laughs> 
All right, let's go. Hopefully we get a Mimic or a Mangler now just to switch things up. And there we go, got a Mimic. Nice. All right, and he's going to be right there in that little building. Perfect. All right, Mimic should be in there. There we go. There he is. Let's take out some of these normal zombies first. There we go. So we don't have to worry about them later on. Nice. Now let's just maintain distance, and we should be fine. There we go. Almost took off a quarter of his health bar already. Let's take out some of those normal zombies again. Just make things a bit easier for us. Nice. Now we'll have to ooh, get some distance. There we go. Definitely taking bonus points. Nice. Alright, Mimic's about halfway dead. We don't have any decoys either. Ah, that's unfortunate. It's all good though. He's got a quarter of his health bar left. Come on, just a few more shots. And come on, there we go, got the kill. Quick and easy. Uh, pretty, pretty average loot right there, I'm not gonna lie. All right, is there another bounty? No, okay. Um, I'm just debating whether or not we should do an Outlast contract. Not sure, man, should we? Um, yeah, we might as well. I'll start running over there, but yeah, if a bounty contract does spawn in before we get there, then I'll definitely go grab that instead. Ooh, bounty contract just spawned in way back there. Hell yeah, let's go. Definitely not going to do the outlast now. Uh-oh, they're getting close to it, man. But I think, yeah, we're good. We're good. <laughs> nice. All right, hopefully we get a mangler for this one. Let's see what target we get off this. Come on, give us a mangler. Give us a mangler and it's a mega okay i won't complain definitely love taking out megas and he's gonna be right back there awesome all right i'll see you guys once i'm there kind of weird that we haven't got a crystal yet really wanted to pack a punch of scorcher but it's all good it's all good who knows fingers crossed we get one with this contract all right mega abominations down there let's get his attention real quick doubt he'll hit us with a laser attack we are way too far there we go well, that works. Let's go. Let's focus on that middle face for now. There we go. One face destroyed already. Ooh, and we are out of ammo. Um, okay. Yeah. Probably should have thought about that before coming back here. <laughs> it's all good, though. Hold on. Is there an ammo depot nearby? Yeah, I mean, I know there's one way back there close to the pack punch machine, so you know what? Quickly make my way back there if we can. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you definitely have a good amount of ammo with the M4. My issue there is just that I was, you know, killing zombies and HVTs and not focused on picking up any ammo. So that's kind of my fault. Don't blame the gun. All right, there we go. Let's try that again. Now that we have enough ammo, let's quickly land on this bus. There we go. Laser attacks coming in already. Let's focus on that face to the left. Uh, just a few more shots. Nice. Did we destroy that face? And we did. Beautiful. Let's focus on that final face. Come on. Just a few more shots. Nice. Let's jump over to this bus again. Beautiful. Come on. Ugh. Oh, zombies are throwing their meat. Oh, dude. All right, let's quickly burn this and jump across. Nice. Let's just focus on that final face. I'll quickly throw a decoy. There we go. Let's focus on that. And there we go. Contract complete super easy let's quickly grab that there we go um got a large bag off that nothing too special but we did get a crystal which is very nice so we can actually scorch around a bit quicker now let's go all right i'm pretty sure there's a buy station back here uh there is but there's also mega right there <laughs> okay let's risk it real quick boys we should be all right maybe oh uh, come on, there we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. Come on. Uh, uh, survive this. Come on. Oh my god. And there we go. We got it. <laughs> nice. All right, let's see if there's a bounty contract somewhere. And there is. Let's go. I'll see you guys once I'm there. Perfect. Got the contract. Let's see what target we get from this one. And it's a mimic. Nice. All right, I think we'll take out this Mimic, and uh, after that, we'll make our way over to the Dark Ether. All right, Mimic, where you at, dog? There he is. 
Nice. Let's quickly chuck a decoy, actually, just to make things a bit easier. There we go. Nice. Let's back up a little bit. Perfect. Almost took off a quarter of his health bar already. Ooh, that's a lot of zombies down there, man. <laughs> All right, let's take some of them out. We also need some armor plates. That's essential at this point. There we go. All right, let's bring them all over to this side. Got a mangler on us too. But let's just focus on the normal zombies for now. Ooh, that one almost caught us off guard. There we go. Let's focus on the mimic for now. Beautiful, definitely hit that quarter way mark. All right, let's take this guy out. Good amount of ammo back here and plates. That's just what we needed. Nice. All right, let's take some of these guys out. There we go. Dude, is it just me? I don't know. Deadshot feels stronger on PC? I don't know. That, that might just be me. <laughs> All right, let's focus on that guy. There we go. Mangler's dead. Now let's just focus up on the Mimic. Beautiful. He pulled us in, which gives us a bit of distance. Nice. More than halfway. Quarter of his health bar left. Let's get some distance again. And we should be able to finish him here. There we go. Contract complete. All right, got a sentry gun in there and an epic tool. Nothing too special. Um, all right, I'll quickly go buy an extra self revive and then I'll make my way over to the dark ether portal. And there we go, we made it to the dark ether portal. Let's use that sigil, accept the teleport, and I'll see you all in the tier 4 zone. And there we go, boys. Once you spawn in, just turn around and run into this warehouse building back here. And this is where you find the first contract, so just quickly climb this container, go through this glass, and there we go, pick up the contract, and we got a Mega Abomination as our target. Now in the Elder Dark Ether, the most common target is the Mega Abomination, but you can also get others, and uh, I think for the normal Dark Ether, Megas are fairly uncommon, but yeah, I'll show you guys my strategy for taking that guy out. So as you can see, there's a bunch of fog right here. Let's actually get that Mega Abomination's attention real quick. So once you get his attention, just start running over in this direction here, over to this parking lot area. There we go, so we're at least out of the fog. Nice, he's hitting us with a laser attack, so let's quickly take advantage of that. There we go, broke one of his faces already. Let's take out some of these zombies, beautiful. All right, so there's two rooftops here, the one I just climbed up to and that one back there that I just shot at. So the idea is to just keep alternating between the two rooftops because as you can see there's going to be a bunch of zombies jumping up here and uh, that's just going to make everything kind of annoying. So the best play to make is just to jump across to this side here and climb this ladder and then focus on the mega again. There we go. Another laser attack's coming in. He only has one face left. So uh, we're going to get the kill here pretty soon. Let's take some of those normal zombies out. Perfect. All right, we'll have to quickly jump across. Nice, laser attack's coming in again, so let's quickly focus on him while we're on the ground. Oh, we're gonna go down. Oh, that's unfortunate, should not have risked it. It's all good though. Let's use that, there we go. Bring him over to this side here. Nice, let's quickly play it up. All right, perfect, he should hit us with a laser attack now. There we go. And we'll be able to get the kill. And nice. Got the kill. Contract complete. Let's see what we got off of that. An extra self revive VR11 case. I will take. Thank you very much. Sat on the ground there. An extra jug streak. <laughs> nice. All right. So once you take out the Mega Abomination, and also I will mention that all the contract spawn points are the same, whether you're in the normal Dark Ether or the Elder Dark Ether. Now the next contract we'll do is this one right here, being the Outlast contract. Now there's a staircase inside this building, or you can take this ladder right here at the back. Then just make your way up here, pick up the contract, and that's going to ping the P&D device, which is going to be located over at the diner. So just parachute off this rooftop into this foggy area back here. Shouldn't be too many zombies here, as you can see. And then just run up this hill. Climb these two walls, and there we go. We made it to the diner. Now just get the P&D activated. Like so. And for this contract, there's really not much to it. I personally recommend training the zombies around, but it all depends on the weapon you have. 
Like, this M4 is pretty powerful, so I think we should be alright by just coming in here and uh, killing all the zombies coming our way. So, yeah. I mean, just look at that. Definitely works. <laughs> and you might have one or two coming from that direction, so just keep an eye out, but... You definitely should be fine, just don't take any risks, play it safe, and I'll see you guys once I'm done with the contract. And there we go, contract complete. Now once you finish that, most of the zombies are gonna die, let's take that mag of holding. Um, I think we'll take brain rot, why not? Throw that on the gun, switch things up a bit, got this disciple right there, nice, nice, nice. Alright, so once you finish that contract, you want to make your way over to H6 on the map, and that's the mall. You want to make your way right up there. Now, there is a staircase inside the mall to get to the roof. There's also this parking garage you can use, or there's two ether tiers, one located here, I believe. Yeah, I think it's in this building here, and then there's another back here. Then just make your way up here and pick up the contract there we go then just start running west immediately and as you can see up ahead the three extractors are landing so just keep running in this direction here since we have the scorcher we can kind of speed things up a little bit like so now i like to jump over to this platform here and then just parachute over to this rooftop that seems to work fine now just throw a casimir at the ground there we go, that's going to pull in all the zombies, and more importantly, it's going to let us disable the extractor. Let's just quickly do that, there we go. First extractor disabled, now we only have one more Casimir, so we'll have to use Ether Shroud in a bit here. Then just run in this direction here, throw your Casimir at that wall, and once again, just get this disabled. Quick and easy, very nice. Then just start running towards the third and final extractor, like so. There we go, we got that mangler right there, shouldn't be an issue. Let's just quickly pop Ether Shroud, and let's get this disabled. Come on, just a few more seconds, and there we go, that's all three. Nice. Now normally, if you have an extra Casimir, you can just throw that, make things a lot easier, but as you can see, we are fine. Um, the extra mag of holding I will leave in there. Definitely don't need that. Okay, okay, okay. Got stuck there. It's all good, though. I will be downing myself in a second here anyways, just so I keep all this juicy loot in my tombstone. Now, uh, unfortunately, we didn't get an Elder Sigil, so probably in the next video we'll just do a Tier 3 run, and if we find a normal Sigil, then we'll just, you know, do a normal Dark Aether run. I mean, yeah, just look at this thing, dude. <laughs> this thing cooks. I'm having way too much fun with this gun. Now, um, in terms of the schematics, the Mag of Holdings, um, the Bloodburner Key, and the VR11 plans are reserved, because there is a winner for that, but the Tombstone Soda recipe and these two Bloodburner Keys I will be giving away on Twitter, so just go follow me, that's at HypnosticYT, I regularly tweet there when I'm giving away schematics, so all you have to do is reply with your Activision ID, and then I select a random winner within, like, 12 hours, I think. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, I usually give you guys some time, you know, some people might be at work or might be busy with other things. So, you know, just to give everyone a fair chance, so, yeah, be sure to follow me there. Now, in terms of this gun, my final rating is going to be 10 on 10. In terms of assault rifles, this thing is an absolute demon. As you can see, we are having no issues with this thing, whether you're taking out groups of zombies or HVTs. It definitely gets the job done. You're super mobile with it as well, which is what I love. And uh, yeah, no negatives to this gun, honestly. Great amount of ammo as well. And of course, once you have the Mag of Holding equipped, <laughs> as you can see, yeah, this is a result. So more than happy with this gun. Thank you again for the suggestion. If you guys have any other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out, then please drop a comment below. Thank you all for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please hit that like button, it really helps out. Comment with any suggestions for future videos, and don't forget to subscribe to share your support to the channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever in the world you are, and as always, goodbye.